Hello friends and welcome to TechyJack. In this video we are going to see about Azure AD users and groups. So let's get started. Typically there are three types of users in Azure AD. Cloud identities, directory synchronized identities and guest users. If you remember uh, in my previous video I have created a custom domain by the name of techyjack.online and if you see the user jack at techyjack.online it's showing a member though the uh, domain is different but it was on a Azure AD so I created the user on a Azure AD so that's why it's showing in the member and this one is a uh, user tech jack at techyjack.com it lies in a external domain so that's why this is an invited user and showing as a guest there is no user synchronized with the on-premises Active Directory so it's showing here directory sync is no for everyone so if we talk about the cloud identities these user exist only in Azure AD for example like administrator accounts and user that you manage yourself and their source is Azure Active Directory or might be the external Azure Active Directory if the user is defined in another Azure AD instance but need access to subscription resources controlled by this directory and when these user account are removed from their primary directory they are deleted and if we talk about directory synchronized identities these user exist in on-premises active directory and a synchronization activity that occurs via Azure AD Connect brings these user into the Azure Active Directory and their source is a Windows Server Active Directory and about the guest user these user exist outside the Azure that means account from the other cloud providers and Microsoft account such as Xbox Live account and their source is a invited user every time if you want to add a guest user you have to invite them this type of account is useful when external vendors or contactors need access to your Azure resources and once their help is no longer necessary you can remove the account and all of their access from your Azure AD let us also discuss about the groups in Azure AD there are two type of groups in Azure AD security groups and Microsoft 365 group the security groups are the most common and are used to manage members and computer access to shared resources for the group of users for example like you can create a security group for a specific security policy and by doing it in this way you can give a set of permission to all the members at once instead of having to add permission to each member individually and Microsoft 365 groups these group provide collaboration opportunity by giving members access to the shared mailbox calendars files, SharePoint site and uh, many more this option is available for admin and the user as well let us also see what are the option we have adding members to a group there are different way you can assign access right assigned dynamic user and dynamic device Assign means it let you add specific user to be a member of this group and to have a unique permission and the dynamic user dynamic user let you use the dynamic membership rule to automatically add and remove members and if a members attribute change the system look at the dynamic group rules for the directory to see if the member meets the rule requirement if no rules are matched the users are removed and the dynamic device it's the same way it let you the dynamic group rule to automatically add and remove the device and if a device attribute chain the system looks at your dynamic group rule for the directory to see if the device meet the rule requirement if the rule requirement is not matched again the device is removed let us also see how we can manage multiple directories in Azure Active Directory each tenant is a fully independent resource there is no parent child relationship between the tenants and this independence between the tenants includes resources independence administrative independence and synchronization independence resource independence means if you create or delete a resource in one tenant it has no impact on any resources in another tenant if you use one of your domain name with one tenant it cannot be used with any other tenant and the administrative independence if a non-administrative user or tenant creates a uh, test tenant then by default the user who creates a tenant is added as an external user in that new tenant and assign the global administrator role in that tenant the administrators of tenant have no direct administrative privileges to tenant 
unless an administrator of test specifically grants them these privileges. However, administrators of uh, your domain can control access of tenant test if they control the user account that created the test account. And the synchronization independence, you can configure each Azure AD tenant to independently synchronize account data. One thing to note here is, unlike other Azure resources, your tenants are not child resource of an Azure subscription. If your Azure subscription is cancelled or expired, you can still access your tenant data using Azure PowerShell or the Microsoft Admin Center. You can also associate another subscription with your tenant. I hope you found the video informative and in our next video we will see how we can create a group, user, dynamic group and how we can assign a membership to the users. So let's meet in a next video. So friends, if you found the video informative, do subscribe the channel and also check out some other video links on the screen.